Thomas, are you a Neighbours fan? <laughs> oh, you know, it's something you... Lisa Mazimba, BBC News. And that final episode of Neighbours will be aired on uh, Monday the 1st of August. Uh, let's look at the weather now. Here's Thomas Schaffernacker. Yeah. Thomas, are you a Neighbours fan? <laughs> oh, you know, it's something you watched with your gran years ago, years and years. Not, not, not 9,000 episodes ago. <laughs> Quite a long time ago. Uh, weekend weather just around the corner. Um, looking pretty good, actually, for, uh, for most of us. Um, sunny spells on the way. Very breezy, though. Um, today and Saturday, and I've left the shower symbol there just to indicate it's not going to be completely dry. There will be a few showers around in Edinburgh. And uh, if you've been struggling with itchy eyes and noses, or, or just the one nose, I assume you've only got one, um, uh, uh, very high pollen levels uh, today. Now, a hint of things to come, we think, as we head into um, the second half of next week. We could see a spell of warm weather spreading in from the south. And at the moment, uh, our apps are certainly indicating for some of the major towns and cities a steady rise in the temperature. I mean, the average this time of the year in the southeast, for example, is low 20s. So it's not, not a massive rise and pretty normal for, uh, for June. But it does look as though there could be some uh, warmer weather on the way end of uh, next week. But in the meantime, enjoy the weekend. Back to you. Hello, good afternoon. Lots of dry weather in the forecast over the next few days with plenty more sunshine to come too. High pressure is building in from the south and towards the northwest of the UK, there is a low pressure system containing the remnants of an ex-tropical storm. And that's why it's so blustery for this time of year. A brisk southwesterly wind blowing throughout the day. Sunny spells, as you can see from our weather watcher photos too, here in St Pancras and in Richmond upon Thames, and the sunshine is likely to continue for the rest of the day. Well, do you know what? I remember when it started, and uh, Darren, that makes me feel a bit depressed, to be honest. Makes, I mean, I don't me feel, feel as if I've as well. reached a certain age, but you know, that's quite a milestone. Yeah, it makes me feel old as well. <laughs> I remember watching it at university, and that was many years ago. Uh, always need good neighbours, of course. Uh, it's been a good day today, weather-wise, across England and Wales, with uh, some good spells of sunshine. And uh, through this weekend, there'll be some more sunshine around. But we do have some blustery showers, and they're mainly going to be across the northern half of the UK. Uh, tomorrow, we've still got some very high grass pollen levels across parts of England and Wales. But those levels are dropping a bit across northern England and North Wales, perhaps because there could be a bit more cloud around tomorrow and maybe one or two more showers too. The bulk of the showers tomorrow will be across Northern Ireland with showers or longer spells of rain in Scotland, where it's going to be particularly windy with gales in the far north of the country. And tomorrow could be a little bit cooler in Scotland and Northern Ireland, but in the sunshine across eastern parts of England where it may stay dry, temperatures are reaching 22 degrees. And it should really be dry at Trent Bridge on Saturday and probably staying dry through the rest of the five-day test match. We've still got a westerly breeze. Temperatures aren't going to change an awful lot, but I think the winds won't be as uh, strong on Sunday. Hey there, good evening. Uh, the weekend's weather not looking too bad, and that's in spite of the fact that we've had former tropical storm Alex drifting across northern parts of the UK. Started in the Pacific, went across the Caribbean, Florida, Bermuda, the Atlantic, and really all it's going to bring us is some strong gusty winds through tomorrow. Even they will die out through Sunday. So a little bit on the gusty breezy side, slightly breezier than today. Well, the weather might not look too bad. Not great news, though, for pollen and hay fever sufferers. We've got very high levels over the next few days, so do take care. That's your weather and your pollen. Have a great weekend. And um, when I've posted it, I eat the banana, so no food goes to waste. There is something inherently quite ridiculous about creating artwork on bananas, but I actually kind of like that. I like the humor of it. Um, I don't take myself too seriously. So uh, yeah, it feels like a good reflection of my character. What a skill. And uh, Anna, very kindly, unbeknown to me, did this uh, banana, especially for me. <laughs> what do you think? Well, I can see why you like it. It makes you look younger. <laughs> do you think yeah, so? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. yeah. It's a skin. Yeah. It's good skin. You've got a good skin there. Yeah. Apparently it's been eaten now already. So. <laughs> yeah, a, but thank be, you, Anna, for doing that. That could That's... be worth a fortune. <laughs> Oh, look, we're eating into my time. Go on, Don't sorry, go on. Let's, let's uh, dwell on this uh, picture here. Lovely uh, picture taken by a weather watcher called Helen. 
I'm assured it's not our floor manager that took this picture, but you can see for miles, probably 25 miles or more visibility, it's been good, clean air. Over the weekend, we're going to find uh, more sunshine around. It's going to stay dry this weekend. Should be a, quite a nice weekend on the way. Triple Olympic and world champion rower Andy Triggs-Hodge will set off from Tower Bridge this weekend with a tough challenge to row around 2,000 miles all the way around Britain. And if that wasn't enough, there's another point to Andy's trip. Chris Slague can tell us what it is. He's at Tower Bridge for us this evening. Chris. Yeah, Asad, this is quite some record attempts. On Sunday, they are going to set off from Tower Bridge and try and row around Great Britain non-stop and back here quicker than has ever been done before. They'll have to do that in 25 days. They're also going to be carrying out really important environmental work to help scientists learn more about pollution levels in UK waters. Now, London Youth Rowing is really keen for young Londoners to get involved. You can sign up on their website to follow the challenge. Now it is National Growing for Wellbeing Week and Lucy is a very calming place in Missenden in the Cotswolds this evening. Lucy. Thanks, Lucrezia. A very good evening to you. Yes, I've swapped the hustle and bustle of city life for the beautiful Cotswolds this evening. A fine and dry Gloucestershire here right now. And it really is a beautiful spot here. I'm in the Miserdon estate. It's a huge estate surrounded by acres of ancient woodland. And I'm currently standing in the really picturesque, pretty gardens, which date back all the way to the 17th century, can you believe? And this time of year, well, the days are at their longest. The summer solstice is around the corner. Uh, huge amounts of daylight in the middle of June. So it's no coincidence that this week marks National Growing Week for Wellbeing. And we know that being around nature, greenery and gardens such as this make a huge positive impact on our mindset. I spoke to Sarah Tanner a little earlier, who helps manage and runs this estate about what it's like to work somewhere like this every single day. I feel really privileged that this is my office. I come here every day. Um, I see people visit um, and um, just the impact it has on them and their well-being. It's such a beautiful place um, and um, yes it's a very positive sort of calming environment and we welcome people to come and experience that with us. So gardeners and gardens are very dependent on the weather. Let's find out what's in store this weekend. Well, it's a blustery end to the week, a little breezy given the time of year. We've got sunshine and showers on the cards tomorrow into Sunday. The showers will tend to fade and the winds will tend to ease. Taking a look at the bigger picture across Europe and low pressure anchored to the north of us, ensuring those blustery conditions for the time of year, particularly across Scotland, Northern England and Northern Ireland, quite windy for a time with some wet weather to come. A little drier further south, a little calmer with high pressure in charge. Well, that's it from me in Gloucestershire. Back to Lucrezia. Oh, Lucy, thank you. Looking lovely there.